Let me show you how to easily embed a Trustpilot reviews widget like this on your WordPress website. This is by using the Smash Balloon Reviews Feed Pro plugin. To get started, head over to smashbloon.com and purchase Reviews Feed Pro. Once purchased, you can find your download link and the license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Reviews Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now, inside your dashboard, on the left-hand side, hover over Plugins and click on Add New Plugin. Next, at the top, click Upload Plugin and upload the zip file for Reviews Feed Pro, like this, and click Install Now. Once installed, click Activate Plugin. And there we go, Reviews Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. To get started, on the left-hand side, click on Reviews Feed. And for our first step, we'll have to paste your license key over here. Paste the license key from your Smash Balloon account and click Activate. Now we can get started with our Trustpilot Reviews widget. To do that, click Add New. Then we can click on Add Source. On this menu, you can see all the different sources you can use with Reviews Feed Pro. With the plugin, you can create a feed of reviews from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, Yelp, Trustpilot, and WordPress.org. Since we want to create a Trustpilot Reviews widget, we can select Trustpilot, then click Next. And for step number two, we'll have to paste the page URL for the Trustpilot page we want to fetch our reviews from. For this demonstration, let's embed the reviews from Wallace Cotton. This business has over 3,000 reviews on Trustpilot and an overall rating of 4.9 stars. To add this as a source inside the plugin, all you have to do is copy the page URL, like this, and paste it back inside the plugin. After that, click Finish. Now you'll see that Trustpilot page added as a source inside the plugin, and it's already selected for us, so we can click Next. And for the final step of creating our Trustpilot Reviews widget, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our feed. We have options like the default, simple cards, masonry, single review, and more below. For this demonstration, I'm going to go with the Showcase Carousel option. That's this one here. I can select it like this and click Next. And almost instantly, we have a beautiful preview of our new Trustpilot Reviews widget. And since we selected the Showcase Carousel template, our reviews are displayed inside a swipeable carousel, which site visitors can swipe through like this. This widget is now ready to be embedded inside your WordPress web page. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize the feed. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, go into Layout. Inside this menu, you can find several options to modify the layout of your Trustpilot Reviews widget. At the top, we have three different layouts we can select from. Currently, we have the carousel layout selected, which allows you to swipe through your reviews like this. And at the top, we have the list layout, which displays your Trustpilot reviews in a single column list. And next, we have the masonry layout, which displays your Trustpilot reviews in rows and columns. For this video, we're going to stick with the carousel layout. And if you look below, you can also choose how many reviews you want to display inside the feed on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Currently, you can see that we have five reviews on display, but if you want to modify that, you can simply enter the number of reviews you want to display inside the feed like this. You can see that I've typed in three, and on the right hand side inside the live preview, you can now see that we only have three reviews. I'm going to change that back to five. And below that, you can also choose how many columns you want inside the feed. Currently, we only have one column, but if you want to modify it, just enter the number of columns you want to display. For example, if I want to display two columns, I can change it like this, and the live preview will automatically update to display two columns. I'm going to change that back to one. And if you scroll down, you'll find some specific customization options for the carousel layout, which includes the option to display navigation arrows on the left and right hand side, if I want to toggle that off, you can deselect it like this, and that will disappear from your feed. I'm going to bring that back. You can do the same thing with the pagination dots at the bottom, these ones here, and also enable autoplay, which when enabled, automatically swipes through the reviews inside your feed like this. For this demonstration, I'm going to disable autoplay, and if you're happy with the layout of your reviews feed, click save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to add a header at the top of your reviews feed, under the customize tab, go into header. And if we enable it, you'll see this header pop up at the top of your preview. The header features the overall star rating, the number of reviews, and a write a review button on the right hand side. All the elements inside this header is fully customizable. On the left hand side, you'll see that we have the heading, button, and average review rating. If you want to hide any of these elements, you can simply deselect it like this, and that will be hidden inside the live preview. You can do the same thing with the heading and average review rating, and we're going to bring those back. And if you're happy with the heading of your reviews feed, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want to moderate the reviews inside your Trustpilot Reviews widget, go to the settings tab and click on moderation. And if we enable moderation mode, you can see that we have two different options to use this. The first option is with the allow list, which hides all of your reviews apart from the ones you choose to manually display like this. Next, with the block list, all your reviews will be displayed apart from the ones you choose to manually hide like this. If you're using moderation mode, click save and exit. But for this demonstration, I'm going to disable it. And if we go back into settings and click on filters, you'll find different options to filter the reviews inside your feed. At the top, we can filter reviews based on their star rating. For example, if I only want to display five star reviews, I can add this filter like this, and you'll see now that inside our preview, we only have reviews containing five stars. Underneath that, you can also add words as filters so that your feed only displays or hides reviews containing those words. And lastly, at the bottom, you can also filter reviews based on their character count with a minimum and maximum character count. This way, you can choose whether you want bite-sized short reviews or longer in-depth ones. 
With these filtering and moderation options, you have complete control over what reviews you display inside your feed. And if you're happy with the changes, don't forget to click save on the top right corner. And now that you know how to create and customize your Trustpilot Reviews widget, let me show you how we can embed it inside your WordPress web page. To embed it, click Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click Add. Now inside our WordPress web page, we have two different options to embed a reviews feed. The first option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode that we just copied earlier like this. Alternatively, if you're using Block Editor, you can use a dedicated reviews feed block like this. You can see our Trustpilot Reviews feed pop up here. We can now click on Update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are now on our live WordPress web page, and right in the middle we have our new Trustpilot Reviews widget. This widget features all the latest reviews from our Trustpilot page that we added as a source, and in the showcase carousel template that we selected. This allows site visitors to easily swipe through the reviews inside your feed like this. Each review features the author and date, the star rating, as well as the review content. And on the right hand side of each review, you also find a Trustpilot icon indicating that the review is from Trustpilot. At the top, we also have the header that we added to the feed, which includes the star rating, the total number of reviews, and the write a review button. If I click on that, that will take us directly to that Trustpilot page, making it super convenient for site visitors to leave Trustpilot reviews for you directly from your WordPress website. And if you're wondering if we can embed this widget inside the sidebar or footer of your website, we definitely can. Let me show you how. Back inside the plugin, I've created a second Trustpilot reviews widget for the sidebar of our site. To embed this inside the sidebar, click embed on the top right corner, copy a dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a widget. This will take you into the WordPress widgets menu, and we can see our main sidebar right here. To embed it inside the sidebar, with the same two options as before. First option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode we copied. Alternatively, if using block editor, you can use our dedicated reviews feed block like this. With this option, you can see an instant preview of your reviews feed directly inside the sidebar. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are back on our live WordPress web page. And on the left hand side, we have that Trustpilot reviews widget we created initially in the showcase carousel template. And on the right hand side, inside the sidebar, we have our new Trustpilot reviews widget. And just like the first one, our sidebar features all the latest reviews from our Trustpilot page. So you now know how to create, customize, and embed Trustpilot reviews widgets like this on your WordPress website and on the sidebar as a widget. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you experience any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And please consider subscribing to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.